The paranoid are those who survive, okay? If you don't think that there is some sort of goal to have some sort of digital passport, some sort of tracking system involved, you're not paying attention. Okay, if you don't think that there's some sort of social score coming our way that is already in effect in China, you're not paying attention. Okay, and if you don't think that this is an obedience test, if you don't think, especially after that episode that Pat put up yesterday with what we know that the moderators are doing behind the scenes at these major social media conglomerates, then guys, you are just not paying attention. And to your point, as far as us being around and us not, not to get off topic, Merrick Garland, who was nominated to be a Supreme Court Justice in the United States and is now in the Biden administration, essentially just weaponized the FBI to go after anybody, okay, who has had any sort of opposition to critical race theory in education. All right, he sent a memorandum to the FBI asking them specifically to treat opposition to critical race theory and um, quote-unquote vaccine hesitancy, okay, which, which you know, is this, this broad term for questioning anything that's official narrative, okay? They're treating people that disagree with our elected, you know, administration as political dissidents. That is the, that is the very precipice of the slippery slope, all right? We already, knew, we already know that Obama weaponized the IRS. That is not up for debate. That's not a conspiracy. That was confirmed. That should have been one of the biggest conspiracies since Nixon. Everybody knows it happened. Nobody cares for some reason. He weaponized the IRS against his political opponents. Now, his vice president's administration is publicly weaponizing the FBI against political opponents. That's a problem. That is a slippery slope. Okay? So while I understand and I agree we're not North Korea, we're not Iran, I think that we can become it so much quicker than anybody gives any sort of credence to. I, I hear your point. I, I, I also think... You're right on being paranoid, and I appreciate you saying, well, you know, it could happen. It could happen. In my humble opinion, I've just seen what true tyranny looks like. Pat came from Iran. Mm -hmm. I think it's hyperbolic to even assume we're anywhere even close to it, bro. That's just my point. Okay. Again, I just tried to tell comedy, and I couldn't do it inside of a city. No, you chose to do a secret show. Well, you no, could have no. done it in, in I, I could O'Donohue's. Not. I could not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I could not have. I, I would I would have they they would have made it it was actually illegal for me to earn money bro, bro they, mm. they 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 we just talked about the New York restaurants a freaking mandate for something that you have 99% chance of surviving I mean what the hell are we doing what are we talking about right now and at the end of the day what is the definition of being an American this country we, was formed by lawbreakers we law can actually man. come here and what's great is that we actually have like these debates or whatever we want to call it mm -hmm. But we can walk out of here and still be cool. Yeah, we respect each other's opinion and stuff like that. Like they want to take it away. Yeah, they want to take it away by force. They don't want you to speak. Well, at, at what point, if you live in New York City, do you say enough's enough? I mean, if you're like, dude, I many are saying it. Exactly, many are saying. So it. that's the beauty of living in America again is saying, you know what? Yeah, but, moving to Florida, so, or I'm going here, I'm going there for now. Okay, so, so Adam, let me ask you. You know, uh, uh, one day you're gonna have a family. Right? That's mm -hmm. the plan. One day you'd like to have a family. One day, by your choice, we're not going to force you. I just want you to know Don't that. Don't force me. Yeah. Pat. We're not going to tell you, go. We're going to be. Like, I've almost been, I, you know, I've been forced into marriage before. <laughs> it didn't work out well. No, no, it's not a good strategy. Yeah. We like choice. Yeah, but like if choice. you're open to arranged marriage, I like, I yeah, wouldn't I'm mind good, doing I'm arranged marriage that. with you. I got some people. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah. let's go back to it. You get married, you have kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. God willing. Yeah. God willing that happens, you is. have kids. Okay. Your level of. Uh, paranoia will change. Okay. I'm sure when you have kids. Yeah, let me sure. explain to you how it works. Like, uh, Senna looks at me and she gives me these eyes and she goes like this and she kind of goes like this with her hair and she takes these pictures and all I think about is, oh my gosh, some guy's going to go crazy over that. How the hell am I going to fight off that guy? You know what Senna did the other day? Hmm. So somebody said something to Senna in school. You know what she said to the kid? She said, you know my brother is big and strong, and he will punch you in <laughs> yeah. the face. I assume him. he's talking about I, Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. 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 I'm like, go read a book, buddy. Yeah. He's, just thinking, yeah. he's, he's worried about Senna. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's, he's going to have two six foot five brothers <laughs> and a dad with a million dollar car. So, what, the, so, what do you possibly so, do to impress that girl? And so, big ass uncles. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's you know. right. Yeah. Can you imagine? So I, so I sat there. I'm like. And by the way, honestly, like for a moment, I was not in the conversation. Everyone's talking. I disappear. I'm in La La Land. <laughs> and this La La Land is her boyfriend, 
and I'm like, what's going to happen? 15 years down the road. So he none, comes, he comes Tommy by the way, she, she's 15, so she could very easily, and she's doing cheer right now. She's singing a cheer the other day of her school. I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's pretty. She puts the stuff on, and she does the spagat. What do you mean she's 15? She's, she's five. five, but yeah. she'll be 15 in no time. <laughs> like, hold on, what? It just happened but to no, her. What, I'm saying, what yeah. I'm saying to you is. 10 years down that, the road. That you think that. Yeah. Then I think about Dylan. I think about Tico. Like yeah. the other, I'm doing a parent-teacher conference on my level of paranoia for that is higher today than when I was 29 years old. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I was 27, my paranoia was less. The moment I got married, paranoia increases because of a different lens. Then you have the first kid, your wife's pregnant. Second, then you have different paranoia. Then you have your age, you know, parents aging. All of that stuff adds up. I think the biggest thing is when a person who lacks any par- paranoia that something catastrophic can happen to this country you, you, you will get caught. And when you get caught, it's not going to be fun. Because sometimes in life, almost, you know, in your mind, you're like, I can fix any problem. I can fix any issue. I'm good. I can fix this. I can. There are certain problems you can't fix. Mm-hmm. You, you have cancer. You can't fix cancer. There are certain problems you cannot fix. And there's different forms of cancer. One form of cancer is health. The other form of cancer is when it gets into politics, politicians, and the other form of cancer is when these politicians are able to get into universities and schools, and then they get to the kids. The side effects of overcoming that cancer is 40 years. Yeah. It's not two years, bro. Generations. It's 40. Cuba is still effed up till today. Mm-hmm. How many decades has it been? One cancer goes in. Iran, 1978, 79. That cancer is still there Mm -hmm. 43 years later, and nobody can do nothing about it. And Iran signs a contract with China for 24 years for $400 billion, whatever the number is. That cancer is going to be there for another 25 years. That's that's 70 years of a cancer. So there, there needs to be pushback. There needs to be, I can think for myself, there needs to be, let me think about it. There needs to be, let me get back to you. There needs mm-hmm. to be that notion to the government. The government needs to be held a little bit more accountable and not like, hey, you don't answer what I do in my life. I appreciate the feedback. Yeah. Thank you for doing your job. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.